Hey guys, this is Natash. Before we get started, I just want to explain real quick. I've got a bit of a head cold right now. So, you know, might be a little iffy here. Okay. By the way, I'm also working with a new keyboard and mouse, so... Okay, there's a bone charm there, my gear's there, doubt space is there. Uh, any... any easier way of getting there? Well, when in doubt, go up. Right now my ears are feeling oh shit. Ah oh, god. Get out of here. Well, there goes no kills on this run. Okay. Um Is there actually any way this is advantageous? Um No That was just kinda flat out a terrible idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just start that again. Yeah, dark vision would have just showed them right there. Yeah, you know how I was just complaining not that long ago about dark vision being less useful? As it turns out, uh, guys, I know you think I can't see you. I'm not quite sure what the plan was here. I'm convinced there was one. Letter to Overseer Franklin. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? When we speak next, I hope you will tell me two things. First, what do the strictures tell you about being imprisoned in a cell you could easily escape, were your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your kind knew the location of our base and what exactly you hoped to accomplish there by marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest-high water, Wow, that was really stupid. Dude, not gonna lie, you kinda deserved it. I mean, kinda sucks the legs being broken thing. But, really? You believe this is a group of people with supernatural powers that, you know, can come at you from anywhere. And you actually thought it was a good idea to wade through water? Uh, you know, as a side note, trying to solve problems in a game when your head's stuffy, not actually a very good idea. I'd like to not have to kill people. Well, at least I only killed one person. I just want to point out, I've been recording for 10 minutes right now, and I still haven't accomplished anything. Rinaldo, do the job as you were told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the women who meet in the ruins of the Brigmore Manor possess abilities like our own, and they use poisons administered by Dart. But just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brigmore Witches must pay for her betrayal. 
If you succeed, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Circonus in your old age. Assuming you live. Okay, seriously, this guy kind of sucks as a boss. Like, not just talking, it would suck to work for this guy. Like, he's doing a terrible job actually leading these people. Ooh, can I do this? Can I do this? Nope. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh my god, why are there so many killfish? Oh, those things. I saw them one time. I don't actually know if they were in the episode though. It was one of the ones where it was the bridge one where I was where I was just like failing constantly. Oh crap. Yeah I don't actually have enough mana to do that. Okay. go up. No, that'll work for getting to Doubt Space, but not actually getting my stuff. Okay. Mm. Okay. I'm uh, gonna have to just go for it. Oh, good. Weeper. Okay, so there's the rat swarm now. Can there please be some way I don't have to deal with this? Can I... Blink onto the yet yeah, I can blink onto the street light. Okay, so right in there is where my stuff is. Also right in there is a whole lot of weepers and they're covering all their angles. Okay. You know, if I had the mana for it, I could Oh, I do have the mana for it. Okay. I just gotta wait for these piranha rats to go through. Again. And... Just going right through. Nope. You totally did not see anything. 